In this video, I want to introduce our pinhole viewer activity. It's an activity that we're gonna to use to learn how images are formed on a screen or formed on a sensor, like in a video camera or just a normal point and shoot camera. So we're gonna actually do this with the simplest possible way of forming an image, and that's with something called like a pinhole camera or a pinhole viewer. A pinhole camera doesn't use lenses. It basically takes in light through a very tiny hole and then it produces an image on a film or a sensor behind that. For this activity, we're gonna make a very simple pinhole viewer. To do that, we need two different size diameter pipes. One a little bit larger, one a little bit smaller, uh, and the smaller one has to fit fairly snug in the larger one. So to build our pinhole viewer, we're gonna put a layer of scotch tape on one end of our smaller diameter pipe. You just want a single layer of scotch tape. This is gonna act as our screen. Uh, if there's gonna be an image that forms, it's gonna form on this. And we're going to view it not by looking at like this, but we're going to look through the back side of the tube and see what image gets formed on that. Uh, but we want to block out a lot of the other light from the environment, so it's only coming from a single light source. So we're going to look at just a really bright light bulb. We're going to flip the lights off in the classroom, so the only light will be coming off of there. And we're going to see if we can produce an image of that complex fluorescent light bulb on the screen. So to build the rest of the viewer, we need to take the larger diameter pipe and over one of the ends put aluminum foil and take a rubber band and just secure that aluminum foil right there. Okay, and this aluminum foil is going to essentially block the light that gets inside of here to our screen. We're going to kind of nest these two things together. So put the screen in the back side of the larger diameter pipe and the only light that's going to get through to our screen when we're looking through here will be the light that we that gets through our pinhole. So this is where the pinhole viewer comes in. We're just gonna take a, a pin or something with a very, very small diameter, make a very tiny little hole in the middle of that aluminum foil right there. And so when we turn this thing on and we take our viewer and look at that light, the only light that actually gets through to fall on the screen that we're viewing with our eye is the light that travels through that tiny little pinhole like that. So you're gonna first set this up and basically try to figure out, you know, get close to it, like move the inside tube in and out a little bit and find out, see if you can get an image of that light bulb on your scotch tape screen. Once you can find an image, uh, just see what that image looks like. Is it upright? Is it an upside down bulb? Is it a sideways bulb? Is the bulb uh, fuzzy looking, or can you kind of see the individual coils of that compact fluorescent light bulb? Is it, is it, uh, does it have high resolution or is it fuzzy? Um, and how big is it? Is it a small image or is it a big image? So those are the different things that we can describe about the image. And once we get a clear image, we're gonna find out uh, how, can, how can we change the size of that image, uh, what affects how clear it is or how fuzzy the image it is, and what affects whether it's upright or upside down. And so once you're able to get a clear image, what I want you guys to do to just to investigate how does what we do to the pinhole viewer affect the image that's formed, I want you to first find out, you know, what happens when we have the screen close to the pinhole versus far away from the pinhole? How does that affect the image form? So you'd go like this and move it in and move it out and make note of what changes about the image. The next thing I want you to do is find out how does the, the size of the hole in here, uh, of our pinhole viewer, affect the image that's formed? And so you're gonna start with a fairly small hole using just a little pin, and then for your hole size investigation, take something like a nail that's gonna make a little bit larger hole, and just make that a little bit bigger, and then look at it and find out uh, what if anything about that image changed, and then we can go one step further and just taking something like, this is a nail punch, uh, and just make that hole a little bit even bigger yet. So find out how does the pinhole size, how does its diameter affect the image that actually gets formed. So the last part of this investigation will have you look at the number of holes. You started with one pinhole, well what happens if we have two pinholes or three pinholes? How does that affect the image that gets formed on this scotch tape screen? So I would suggest taking off the original aluminum foil, get a fresh sheet of aluminum foil, secure that with your rubber band again, and just start out with the, the small pinhole and put two pinholes fairly close to one another uh, in your aluminum foil. And again, 
look at this compact fluorescent light bulb and find out uh, what does that change about the image, if anything. So you're looking at how the distance the screen is from the pinhole affects the image, how the size of the pinhole affects the image, and how the number of pinholes you have affects the image. Is the image bigger or smaller? Is it clear or fuzzy? And is it upright or is it inverted?